Happy Thursday. I'm glad that we are all back today, home together. Hello, Owen. I see some friends joining. So as we're all hopping on, let's just sing a hello song. Hello, hello, Emily, Arrow, and Bo. Hello to Addison. Hello to all of our friends who are joining us today. Move this over a little bit so you can see me better. We're going to sing about some of my favorite books today. You might see in the background one by my friend Ashlyn Anstey called Hedgehog. Look around, look around, what do you see? Books, books, are you ready to read? Gather round, gather round, what do you hear? Books, books, open up your ears. I'll read to you, 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 you'll sing to me. I'll read to you, 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 you'll sing to me, me, me. We'll start in one, two, three. Count with me. One, two, three. Hello, M and N. Sometimes I say that my nickname is M and M's because Emily sounds like M and M. So that's funny that you're M and N. I'm glad that you're here, Emily, and my friends in Austin. Let's sing our morning song. Morning is come, night is away. Rise with the sun and welcome the day. Hi, Wendy. Oh, everybody's hopping on today. All right, let's do our morning song. Morning is come. Morning is come, night is away. Rise with the sun and welcome the day. Good morning to Ainsley and Jack. Good morning to Maddie using all the music emojis. That's fun. All right, we're going to start today with a review of the quiz that we did a very long time ago. We are already today in episode 28, I think. 28. Yeah. 28. And a very long time ago, back on episodes one, two, three, and four, we learned some instruments. Hello, Gilbert and Eliza are welcoming the day warmly. So am I and Bo. So let's try and see if we remember some of these instruments, what they sound like and what they are called. Let's see if you remember the name of this instrument. <laughs> It sounds like going down a slide, and it's kind of like a whistle, so it's called a slide whistle. This is one of my favorite instruments. All right, let's try one that I bet you remember. Do you remember what this is called? Spoons. And I'm going to do this rhythm that we might know. Ta, 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 shh, on the spoons. Shh. Will you do the shh with me this time? Here we go. Shh. All right, I'm going to try a different instrument. Maybe you remember this one. Do you remember it by how it looks? Let's see if you remember it by how it sounds. <laughs> it's a kazoo. Kazoos are so much fun. This is a very giant kazoo, I must say. Shh. All right, I brought a new one. I don't remember if I showed this one before. Have you seen this one before? Kind of looks like a big smile. <laughs> and they don't always. Sometimes they're a full circle. 
I'll do the rhythm with this and you can take a guess at what this instrument is called. You've probably seen something like it before. Do you know the name of it? Shh. Shh. So that's one way of playing when I hit like this, but I can also go. Shh. Shh. This is called a tambourine, a tambourine. Yes, my friends in Austin guessed that one. And I maybe think you remember this one. Remember this one? The melodica. Melodica. And this looks like a mini what? Piano. The notes are actually the same. So on a piano, this says C. That's middle C. It's the same as piano. That's how I know how to play it. Because I learned piano when I was only six. Okay, now... Let's see if you remember this friend so we can review what we did on Tuesday. Of course you remember Zip the Glockenspiel. Zip the Glockenspiel. And if you remember, we were singing about a book called Orange, Pear, Apple, Bear. And today we're going to review our apple song, which goes to little apples. And I brought my apple back. I think today I'll have it for a snack since it's the end of the week. But we're going to need our two little apples hanging in the tree. Two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could and down came the apples. Mm, they were good. <laughs> So maybe you remember that. Now let's do the movements. I'm gonna put zip down so we can have two apples in our hands. Everybody get your apples ready. Two little apples hanging in the tree. Two little apples smiled at me. Let's give them a smile. And now we're gonna shake the tree. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Now let's take bites. Mm, they were good. I love that song. Okay, what else could be hanging in a tree? Maybe something from this book. Probably not a bear. I mean, I guess a bear could be hanging from a tree. But two other things grow on trees here. Apples, oranges, and pears. So let's try that. Two little oranges hanging in a tree. Two little oranges smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. And down came the oranges. Mm, they were good. All right, one more. Pears. Two little pears hanging in a tree. Two little pears smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. And down came the pears. Mmm, they were good. I love doing that. It's really fun. Very silly. And I see some friends are adding the pear emoji. I didn't even know we had that one. It's a good one. Okay, now let's try a song about another book. This one happens outside in the hedge, and it's by Ashlyn Anstey. We've sung this a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to bring it back. And since it's Teacher Appreciation Week, a fun note is that I wrote the song about this book with the person who taught me how to sing. My music teacher, Kristen Cefeli, and I co-wrote this song. It's pretty cool, huh? And now she has a son, and he just turned six, so he's some of your ages. The garden was bustling with creatures preparing for the winter. And they all needed a place to live, so... Hedgehog 
lived all by himself, and that seemed like a good place for everyone to go. The grasshopper's home was under the hedge. She lived by herself, too. And then ding dong. Let's all do a ding dong together. Here we go. Ding dong. Um, hello, hedgehog. The burrow is full. Can we stay with you? But do you know what he always says? No. This is my hedge. Well, it happens again and again and again. But do you know who very kindly lets everybody in? It is Grasshopper. But the grasshopper lived below and shared her home when she heard them say ding dong. The hedgehog hogs, the hedgehog hogs, the hedgehog hogs, the hedge. But the grasshopper says, the grasshopper says, come on inside instead and stop being such a hedgehog. So. This time, when Hedgehog messes up his own home, no! Where do you think Hedgehog needs to go? And Grasshopper says, come on in, because everybody needs a home. And I think it's really funny. This is how I got the idea to sing this song today. Hedgehog brings a pie. And that's kind of what we can do with, if we have a lot of apples, we can make a pie, huh? And then at the end, this says, thank you, Hedgehog. And Hedgehog says, you're welcome. Please call me Eugene. <laughs> I think that's funny. So Hedgehog's name is actually Eugene. Maybe Hedgehog's not such a hedgehog after all. So let's try the Hedgehog song. <laughs> The garden was so busy and the sky was so sunny But soon enough the seasons change And the badgers and the bees and birds and beavers and bunnies Need a home, a place to stay Come on in, come along Who would be saying that? Come on in, come along The grasshopper But the hedgehog lived in the hedge All by himself and he liked it that way but the grasshopper lived below and shared her home when she heard them say ding dong everybody with me ding dong the hedgehog hogs now let's learn those movements so first we go the hedgehog hogs the hedgehog hogs the hedgehog hogs the hedge but the grasshopper says the grasshopper says come on inside instead Let's try that again. So you go like this, arms out, this, arms out, this, arms out, then says, says, come on inside instead. One, two, here we go. The hedgehog hogs, the hedgehog hogs, the hedgehog hogs, the hedge. But the grasshopper says, the grasshopper says, come on inside instead. All right, let's try it with bow. And I can only use one arm because my hands have to strum and things, but you're doing both like hogs. Here we go. One, two, ready. And the hedgehog hogs, the hedgehog hogs, the hedgehog hogs, the hedge. But the grasshopper says, the grasshopper says, come on inside instead. Come along. Come on in, come along. The foxes and the squirrels, even the mouse needs a house. There's one place left they haven't checked. Where do you think they're going? Hedgehogs, but the hedgehog lived in the hedge all by himself and he liked it that way. But the grasshopper lived below and shared her home when she heard them say ding dong, ding dong. The hedgehog hogs, the hedgehog hogs, hedgehog hogs the hedge. But the grasshopper says, the grasshopper says, come on inside instead, come on. It's funny. Mine, mine, mine says the hedgehog. Hands off, absolutely not. So for this part we go, mine, mine, mine says the hedgehog. And then hands off, absolutely not. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, let's try it together. So mine, mine, mine says the hedgehog. Hands off, and then turn into no fingers. Absolutely not. Mine, mine, mine says the hedgehog.
hedgehog and then slam the door slam in the door and turn in the lock mine 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 says the hedgehog hands off absolutely not mine 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 says the hedgehog slam in the door but then the door fell off and the hedgehog ruined his hedge nowhere to go where would he stay but the grasshopper down below would share her home when she heard them say ding dong there's always room for one more friend so hedgehog went inside and they settled down snow on the ground and then they shared some what did they all eat together maybe it was made of apples Pie, cause it's better together, that's why. Come on in, come along. Come on in, come along. Woo! Round of applause for the hedgehog song. I love singing that one. Now, I have a fun song surprise that I haven't sung in a really long time. Oh, yay! My friend Sean from Hey Friend, our mini band, is on today. This one I haven't sung in a very long time, and it's very fun to share. Called Your Alien. Has anybody seen this book or this music video? The song, or the book is by Tammy Sauer, illustrated by Goro Fujita, and the song is on my YouTube channel. I think it's really fun, and you can see the little clay version of your alien that was made by my friend Danielle Davis for the video. And I'm just going to do a little bit of this because I think it's a fun space song since we're heading into summer. It's fun stuff that we can do. I'm actually going to make that a little lower because that'll be more helpful. for that this week so I wanted to share so now since we're already at episode 28 I have the announcement that we are going to do two more episodes to get to 30 and that's when our at home series will end I'll tell you about some more fun things that will be coming up but next week will be our last Tuesday and Thursday meetings together so make sure you tune in because we are going to the forest next week we'll be singing forest songs and having lots of fun together. Make sure you tune in. It will also be like Aloha Fridays, so you'll want to bring instruments both days. 
on Tuesday, bring sticks. Because we're going out into the forest, we'll need rhythm sticks. I'm looking for my sticks and I can't find them. But just like always, you can use other things and pencils as your sticks. And on Thursday, we'll need something that shakes, like noodles in a box, macaroni, or an egg shaker. Or you can bring in ukulele, you can bring anything you want. So make sure to tune in next week because it'll be our last two episodes. And I have loved singing with you too. Thanks for the kind comments. It's been so much fun. I have some special guests joining us next week. So you can tune in for that. And before it's time to go today, let's do a little bit of freeze dance. So we're going to dance like the sun. And if you remember how that goes, the movement goes like this. Dance like the sun, turn that into a palm tree. And sway like a palm tree. Shark, groove like a shark. And surf out on the waves. That's how you play this game. All right, let's do that again. Oh, dance like the sun and sway like a palm tree like a shark and surf out on the waves that's how you play this game this time i'm going to add some freezes dance like the sun and sway like a freeze palm tree let me see your palm trees groove like a shark and surf out on the waves freeze that's how you play this game Thank you, some friends are saying. We've loved singing with you, excited for next week, but also sad. I know, it is sad because we've been here for so long together. But don't worry, you can always rewatch episodes. And I'm going to be releasing some really cool stuff this summer, so definitely stay tuned. I'll keep you posted about all that next week. Now let's make silly faces. You can do anything you want. You're silly like a seahorse, now let's wiggle it out. And you're wiggly like an anemone, you're out there on your surfboard. Let's get back on our surfboards until it's time to freeze. Go to sleep, not a peep. Wake up! Dance like the sun and sway like a palm tree, groove like a shark. And surf out on the waves That's how you play this game Let's do our silly faces again Oh, you're silly like a seahorse You're wiggly like an anemone Let's wiggle it out You're out there on your surfboard Till it's time to freeze And eat a little treat Rub your bellies Mmm, yummy, 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 yummy! Dance like the sun and sway like a palm tree. Freeze! Groove like a shark and surf out on the waves. That's how you play this game. Freeze! Yay! You can move again. I love doing that song. It always puts me in such a good mood. And now... It's time to go, Emily Arrow, time to go. If you have any last questions or some art you'd like to submit, I have a few saved that I'm going to share with you next week, so thanks to the friends who sent them in this week. But you can just go to my website, emilyarrow.com, and add your questions or your photos. There's also a spot on emilyarrow.com for you to give a gift or a donation to me for creating these videos over the past couple of weeks. So if you're able and want to support me, that's a great way. So let's now sing our It's Time to Go song before we send some arrows up into the sky. It's time to go, Emily Arrow, time to go. Let's get our arrows ready. And today we're going to send up a wish into the sky, uh, another big thank you since this is Teacher Appreciation Week. A thank you for someone who's been a teacher in your life. Maybe your parents have been your teacher this week. 
I know there are a lot of teachers logged on here today, a lot of librarians and classroom teachers. I'm very thankful for them. So let's send a thankful wish up into the air that they would feel appreciated. That means that they would feel how grateful we are for them. On the count of three, let's send an arrow up. One, two, three. Whoosh. I'm at home and you're at home. We're all at home together. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you back here on Tuesday. Thank you. Thanks for all the thank yous and I want to send back a thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next week. <laughs>